What's going on guys? My name's Jingleheimer and today we are going to start a new video series called Zer Builds. Uh, basically from that, all we're going to be doing is taking a look at Zer's inventory for the week, uh, looking at the armor pieces he has, and then making a build out of them. Uh, we might take the weapon as well, but right now we're just going to work with the armor pieces. And as you guys can tell, we are going to be using Actium War Rig. Uh, my build, of course, if you're running Actium War Rig, we have to run Sweet Business. Right? You have to, because you just fire pretty much forever. It's very hard to run out of um, bullets when using this kind of loadout. Uh, that being said, I will say, as a starting out, this is more of a fun loadout. This is not very meta. Uh, you're going to get melted, most likely, by 600s, as they have a easier, I won't say quicker, but they have an easier TTK than Sweet Business does which is kind of wild if you think about it. And yes, even when it's spun up, they have an easier TTK. We're also going to be using Timeless Vertex, uh, mostly because Elemental Capacitor and Firmly Planted with Sentinel makes stability a bunch. So we're gonna be using that. Another cool thing we're going to be doing, I'm getting murked. Why am I getting murked? Zero save me. Another thing we're going to be doing is using Oppressive Darkness with Mid-Tree Void Titan. Code of the Commander with Magnetic Grenades. Now the reason for this is I was using Code of the Siege Breaker with Sunspots, which allows you sped up to do as much as a 600 RPM auto 26 at an insane fire rate. However, uh, when you start firing this up, everybody on the map wants to come kill you because you're the guy with sweet business and quick play. So we're running 100 Discipline, and when everyone on the map comes to kill you because you're the guy running sweet business, you throw a sticky grenade at them, they're all bunched together, they all blow up. And that's really it. This is more or less crowd control because people will come to find you if you fire this thing. This is a very funny, silly, trolley build, which is kind of my style. We're also using Taking Charge with high energy fire. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole build. There's not really much to it. You could use Suros, and I did try Suros. The issue with Suros is it spins up so fast and has such a low magazine that by the time this activates, the bullets are already gone and you're reloading anyways. It doesn't really do much for Suros. So sweet business is what it's gonna be. All right, so first match with this, we're gonna put on some chill music. We're gonna relax for a bit. And the idea with the loadout like this, honestly, is we're not going in to win. We're going in to, basically you're going in to make a clip, right? So what's the clip with sweet business? Well. Powering it up at max RPM and just going ham with it, right? Going through like three to four different people. We've got Death Donut Retribution. Is anyone else besides me and my friend, does anyone else besides me and my friends call this Death Donut? We absolutely adore this map. We're gonna turn down the sound effects volume because again, we're just trying to chill. And quite honestly, when you're using Sweet Business, when you get it ramped up, you can't hear a damn thing anyways. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is what we always do on this map, right? We are immediately going to the other spawn, and we have a grenade that can basically one-shot everybody. So if it tags everybody, we're good to go. Let's give it a try. We also got some nice, like... I don't know. I, I found this song a while ago and it's just awesome. It's just a good song. And nobody can tell me differently. The first thing we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is make use of our oppressive darkness grenade. And Jingleheimer, how are you going to do that? Well, not like that. The grenade Okay. So we know a bunch of them are at B right now, and they're going to be focusing on that point. I'm going to take this guy down. Jump over. Wow! Was that a slow down Suros? Or was he laggy? I we'll guess we'll find out as the match goes on. Again guys, with loadouts like this, you can use situational awareness and stuff. There's just gonna be things in the game, like your teammates pushing you into incoming fire, that are just gonna get you murked. We're gonna do that. We got a bow user on the other team. 
Oh, Lemon Arc user, actually, he can do a lot of damage to me. So we're gonna wait for our health regen. We're kind of living low. All right. All right. We're gonna get a clip. That's what we're going for. When we get a clip, the whole match is worth it. That's the mindset you have to have when you go into stuff like this. If I can do something really, really cool, then it's worth going in, right? That's honestly why I play PvP so much. So that's our bow guy. So we're not really gonna give him the time of day. No, oh, rip. Let's get this guy down. Okay. Wait for our health to reload. shots I tried to flip around real quick and I couldn't do it we're not on PC right now man just said no we're gonna kind of bait the radar here uh, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. Looks like my teammates are kind of getting ran. That's okay. You kind of see what happens when people even like dare to challenge you. Wow, nice teammate. Actually, we're gonna put this here, bait it out, let him throw all his stuff. All right. Sadly, I do that. Oh, hello. Get that kill, I guess. I don't deserve to live there. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's. Hug your, hug your friends, you know what I mean? Always gotta hug your homies. Guy over here? We're actually not doing too bad. Considering all things. Uh, this would be really, really good on Devour Lock. Sweet business. Uh, the Once you get this thing going... Mountain top into Lemonark. Not really much you can do there. Sometimes you just gotta take a death in destiny. I can say, hey, there's a Lemonark and a mountain top guy that are close together, but honestly. That guy is immediately melted. If this guy peeks me, he's dead because I have charge with light and a fully ramped up sweet business. We shouldn't have been doing 22. We should have been doing more. This guy's going to kill me. I don't get away from him. I need a bunch of people. I don't know why this guy is doing out here. So what we're going to do. Oh, that's good. That was a good grenade. Uh, if that had done... It looks like they separated right when it made contact, otherwise it would have done a lot more damage. We already got half our grenade energy back just because of all those detonators. Which is really good about mid-tree. Especially when stuff like Oppressive Darkness comes out. We're just going to kind of hold this lane right now. And fire 120 bullets. That guy can eat butts. I'm going to back up because Mr. Titan Boy over here. All right, I'm gonna wait this time because last time I tried to do this, my shield wouldn't let me. Go ahead, stick this guy here. He is going for, going. All right, going again. Ramp up. We got someone to our right. Let's challenge them. Watch our teammates back. 
Alright, looks like he went in mid. Nope, he's still on the right. Messing with my radar, brother. This guy's really good with those solar grenades. We're just going to back up. They're all staying together right there. So what we're going to end up doing is running away. Got the grenade kill. Awesome. No, 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 no. Sorry, brother. Not today. My aim assist got pulled off. It's okay. We're still ramped up. And we're dead. Once again, sometimes there's just things in Destiny. Uh, there's just stuff that happens in Destiny and you just die. It's just the nature of the game. And that's perfectly fine. It is what it is. Some good song. By the way, if you want to hear more music like this, hop over to my Twitch because we play songs like this all the time. My aim assist gets pulled off. So we're going to go ahead, pop our super, go over here, do this. Get this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and back up. We're also making orbs for our teammate by holding that down. I'm gonna wait. Someone behind us. Nice shot. If I had a shotgun out, I would have been able to pull the trigger. They get play and I was just in a bad position happens so again our teammates are looking over here where is he boy I got you this guy isn't moving oh no I didn't do that I should honestly be dead I think this is a charge with light orb so we're gonna do this all right, he's probably working on getting his mountaintop. Honestly, I don't think mountaintop should be a thing in the crucible, but it is what it is. No reason to have your shotgun out at that point. Good shots. A dire. Uh, he might be using the gloves that give him perfect draw, which is scary. He's dead. Again, with sweet business, you're basically a turret. Anyone that walks into your path is dead peeps. I'm sure my teammates can handle that. This guy right here is dead peeps. We're charged with light. We're going to use that to our advantage. Got to get rid of that for my teammate. Oh, we got him though. Let's go. GG. Yeah, you're not going to beat that, buddy. Check the score. You're having fun. A nice 40 bomb with sweet business and oppressive darkness. Not bad. We did pretty good. Uh, we lost. This is fine. It happens. Uh, sometimes you just you just lose games. The whole objective of this build, quite honestly, is just to um, just to have fun. A lot of these builds with Xur are going to be builds that aren't great in PvP. But if you can find a way to make a clip in a PvP match or find a way to get hate mail sent to you, I get that all the time. I got that a lot when I was getting my 4,000 kills with Trinity Goal. Um, you just, it's just fun, right? Like, that's what we do. We go out into PvP and, you know, we can we go in there and we can use the best of the best loadouts and dry our butts off. Or we can go in there with silly loadouts and look for cool clips, right? I still have, this is kind of becoming like a Twitch thing, but I still have a, um, a memory from Halo when me and my friends were spending the night at each other's houses way back in high school. It was in Halo 3 and it was of me 
sticking a warthog and right as the warthog blew up it went over a rock blew up over my friend's head and he had the uh, he had i don't even know where the clip is anymore it's so old he had the clip of him watching as the ward flaming warthog with the three bodies flew over his head slowly and that's what that's just what we're trying to do i've been drinking a little bit quite honestly <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for your time. So until next time, guys, it's been fun. It's been great. Uh, next year video is going to be Gwent's Invest. So that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot easier to do than this one. I'll tell you that much. Uh, GG, guys. I'll talk to you later.